Okay, tubers, been working on the Dutch bucket system. I've uh, filled most of them, and um, I did not really do much of an update while I was filling it. Um, anyway, I bought, um, tried using a, um, a filter on the elbow on the inside, just kind of wrapping it with a um, pair of pantyhose. That worked on five of six, and then looks like the sixth one was draining really slow. So um, that idea, in my opinion, is just it's a failure. That's not going to work. It needs more surface area um, to drain. That that just uh, makes the a single point of escape uh, too easy to clog with uh, dust and perlite and all that stuff. So. I went and bought the paint strainers. I like Bobby used their five gallon paint strainers. Um, they're about uh, they're about four bucks for a two pack at Lowe's, or you can get them online for about a dollar fifty a piece, I think. But um, anyway, those are all filled. Um, I went and bought. Perlite uh, cost me 21 bucks for a bag. The last bag I got was $24, and that was vermiculite. So the perlite's a little cheaper. And um, basically, uh, what I've done is I filled them up. And you got to be careful because this stuff it will fly around if it's on a windy day. And you just kind of start your hose. Just barely get it wet first so it kind of holds it down on each one of those. Otherwise, it'll all blow away. And then you can kind of open that hose up pretty good. And I'm not going to go into all this because Bobby has already done it. Uh, MHP Gardener. Um, I just want to let you know that the, uh, the method of trying to filter that perlite from the um, on the bottom from that inside elbow is just not a good idea that's not going to happen you're going to end up with problems and when it overflows um, when it backs up it'll overflow those tanks and that hydroponic um, I believe it's called Hypenex uh, the hydroponic solution it's not cheap you don't want that spilling out everywhere so anyway there's my reservoir, um, but I need to filter it again. Um, I can't remember what that stuff's called. Anyway, I'll have to put it down at the bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the rest of my tomatoes in there. My tomatoes were all grown from uh, seedlings in dirt, and I am rinsing the dirt off of the tomato seedlings and then um, putting them in here but I, I'm aware that um, every bit of dirt needs to come off it's really hard to get them off obviously the tomato plants don't like it but uh, I, I did at least Rob Bob um, told me and I'll put his link in here he's a aquaponics guy he said that when he rinses the uh, the dirt off of his plants for his aquaponic system and the plants seem to be stressed a little bit but uh, so far these haven't um, anyway I will finish putting this together and um, I guess in one of my later videos I'll show you give me an update on it um, and maybe shortly hopefully uh, these rascals will be uh, setting fruit God bless. Go plant some perlite. <laughs> See y'all next time. Well, I went ahead and fired it up. Um, I'm going to leave this one off. See if there's any difference. Um, yeah, put the lids on the others. And I used the tube to feed down to the um, actual roots. Put a piece of well, half inch PVC. This one. Um, this one's just kind of laying in there. I'm going to see how that one does. I got it running to where the, um, the irrigation, the drip irrigation is just 
going down. See how that works. Trying a couple different things. I still have to put rinse the uh, dirt off of about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, and uh, set those up with the the line. But it's um it's working. We have fluid and it's draining back down in there it doesn't seem like it's losing any ground now that's just with six tomatoes but um, this it's working till next time god bless